Okay, guys. So the soil. I'm going to get so California Earth Boy granola on you right now. But seriously, just, just stick with me. The soil is sacred for a number of reasons because it just kind of does the thing. What do I mean by that? It just, you don't have to do anything to dirt. It just sprouts everything. We, you know, everything you need to live and every person you've ever met, it came from soil. Like you're made of, we are made of soil. The plants we eat, the animals we eat, whatever. They, it's soil. And it just, it's magical, right? First tour I ever did was 27 Native American reservations. And one thing I learned from a couple different tribes, uh, they was talking about sort of their, their understanding of the grounds and how humans can relate and stuff like that. And they said, one thing they said is they don't believe that human beings can own land because we didn't make land. How you gonna own something you ain't make, right? Do the fish own the ocean? No. So what makes you think you can own the land, right? But we have the land. So they said the land was a gift from creator. They use creator like a, a, a proper noun, a gift from creator. So if it's a gift, that means it's sacred. All of it, right? But then they pushed me further and they said, uh, we also believe that we are made of the soil that we came from. And if the soil is sacred and a gift, and you are made of soil, then you're sacred, then you're a gift. And I don't have a right to treat anybody else or any other land, anything less than a sacred gift. And a gift it is, because why does it do this? Why, it's like, <laughs> it's just magical. So I just, I hope that at some point you go outside one day, take your shoes off, let your feet feel the soil and remind yourself the ground you stand on is sacred. And the person standing on that ground is also sacred.